<clears throat> the next thing we're going to look at is a, a plane, right? And this, there's a, many different planes. We're just going to look at these two right now. These two both are, these are actually fairly antique. They've, they've been around a long time. And um, particularly the one with the wood base is, is uh, pretty much never used anymore. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to use it just a little bit today just to show how the thing works. And remember that in the video, they showed you how you could look down this surface here. And I doubt, I don't know if we'll get a good enough shot to see the blade sticks up just a little tiny bit from this plain surface right here. And then <clears throat> the blade is um, got a bevel on it, just about like a chisel shaped bevel, right where the, where the bottom of the blade here is flat. And then, I'm sorry, the top of the blade is flat and the bevel comes away from that. And that allows it to bite in and, and shave off a, a sliver of wood, right? The same thing here. Um, and this, this blade is sticking out just a little tiny bit. If we look down the surface, I don't know if we can see it very well. Excuse me. So the other thing to notice is then you've got mechanisms here. This lever I mentioned in the video, if you move it back and forth, that changes the angle of the blade poking through. And then this little thumb screw right here, that guy, adjusts how far the blade sticks out. It's going to be critical that you get it just right. If you're trying to take a huge chunk of wood when you plane, that's really frustrating and hard to get a good smooth uh, surface. Or if you're not taking any, well, that's also frustrating. Then you're just rubbing, rubbing your plane across the wood and, and doing nothing. I'm going to go ahead and shift over here now to where the device is and the piece of wood. Actually, I take it back. I'm going to bring the, the, the wood over here. And we'll go ahead and set it up. Let me hold this here in front of the camera for a minute. This piece of wood was cut with a, a rip saw, and it's a fairly rough cut right here. Not terrible, but definitely if we're trying to do something nice with this piece of wood, we'll need to smooth this down. And so the plane is going to help us out there. Now, this is a great example of seeing how the grain of the wood goes like this, has this little angle to it. it it's not good for us to run the, the plane iron this way and, and lift up those fibers. They tend then to, to break off funny. If we turn it the other way, um, or, or run the run the saw of uh, the plane this direction in relation to that wood, it's going to have a better chance of cutting off those fibers neatly and giving a really good smooth finish. So I'll put it here in the vise, adjust the camera, and we should see when I use the plane to run across there, we should see uh, nice chips of wood being peeled off and we should see the uh, the wood becoming smoother, right? So this is going to be a little awkward, but I'm going to try to get it here so you can see how it works. And I'm going to try to, um, I should change this a little bit. I'm sorry, this is too, a little too awkward for me. Okay. You can see that okay? Let's try that. And I'm pressing down on here nice and firm at the beginning. I don't want the plane to kind of rock and roll like this. I go. I want it to stay flat on the surface. This isn't tight enough. Come on. Okay, that's better. Okay, here we go. And you're getting a little bit of an because the surface is so rough. It's it's not cutting in all places all at once, and that's okay. It's taking off the high spots first. that's doing a pretty good job. It takes these, it, it shaves off these long thin strips of wood like this, these, these curly cues like that, and that's pretty good. That uh, shows you um, how it's taking away the wood, and hopefully then we also end up with a, a pretty smooth surface here, like that, compared to what it looked like before. So we, uh, <clears throat> the fact that the, the bottom of this is a plane, 
then hopefully, like if, if the wood was real wavy when I started, it would ride across the top of those bumps and take the tops away first, and so on to come down even. And so this ends up being um, hopefully totally flat and smooth, right? And that does a nice job of taking away. And we now, you know, in real life, in real woodworking now, we have other machines that can do this. Uh, this thing here, I'll go right over here, is a thing called a jointer. I'll zoom out. Yeah, this the jointer right there. Uh, we don't use it much in this class, but in real life, if you were doing serious cabinet work, you would use the jointer. <coughs> and the way that works is right here under this guard. Now, it's okay for me to put my hand right in the middle of the, of the dangerous part because the machine is unplugged right now. There's the plug. So I don't have to worry about it turning on. If it, if it was plugged in, I, could, I would be worried. And here you have this, this um, drum with these long, sharp, they call them planar blades or jointer blades. And they spin around really fast and shave away layers of wood. So it goes around like that really fast. And this, uh, this infeed table where it's going into the cutter is a little tiny bit lower than the height of the cutters where they come around and the, the height of the cutters should be right even with the top of the surface of this higher table. And as we, um, <clears throat> as we, we use the thing, we can adjust the height of the table. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's not wanting to cooperate right now. I'm not going to fight it. But you can adjust this table so it's down lower. You can take away a bigger slice, right? Anyhow, that's the jointer, and that's kind of the, the powerized version of the plane. All right, thanks for listening.